Man, it looks like April is shaping up to be a huge, huge month here for Wildcard and Snail Games. As a lot of you guys are aware, they did drop on April 1st our very first DLC that is technically free to every single player who owns the base version of Ark Survival Ascended, and that DLC was the Scorched Earth map. Well, if all of that awesomeness wasn't enough and recent enough, they also just dropped a major, major announcement here via the Community Crunch last week. Taking a look at the Community Crunch, they started it off with this awesome image of the center map for one and it even states down here it launches with the Shastasaurus on June 3rd yeah you heard that right the center map the one that was delayed indefinitely where they delayed it before scorched earth officially dropped basically changing the roadmap back to the original you know one that they had prior to the extra life event well it looks like they're back on track here for releasing the center map they even put a date of June 3rd and on top of that it looks like the community voted creature the Shastasaurus, which was technically supposed to launch with the center map, is still on track to launch alongside it once again on June 3rd. Now, take it for what it's worth because it is wild card and their track record is not the best for you know making sure they landing on a specific date. But overall, here I am excited that they put an official date for June 3rd as it, it does give us something to look forward to. And for those of you that are not sure what the Shastasaurus is, check out this gigantic monster. Now, yes. Yes, this is an underwater monster, as you can see here on the screen. And take a look at the survivor's size alongside it, man. This is a massive, massive creature that's going to be underneath the water. And if you guys know anything about the center map, well, it's like 90 or 80% water. So this is going to be a huge, huge addition. And additionally, they did drop in the Community Crunch 381 in the past, the official dossier for the Shastasaurus. So taking a look at the wild statement, it says this odd variant of the Shastasaurus seems as curious about humans as its distance relative, basically the dolphin. It sure got my attention when one of these sea monsters swam up to have a look at me. Luckily, its bulk turns out to be worse than its bite. The Shastasaurus has weaponized the ultrasonic chirps it uses for echolocation. It can focus the sounds into a tight cone that disorients prey, or it can widen the effect to blast apart a school of fish in a concussive wave. Ooh, very interesting. So it can disorient a single target it seems or it can just blast it in like an aoe effect causing you know additional damage i'm very curious to see how aggressive this is towards humans it says it's curious so i know obviously it's going to come up to you like dolphins do but dolphins are not aggressive and they do not attack you so i wonder if that's also going to carry over to its you know relative the shastasaurus now additionally if we can domesticate them it says taming a shastasaurus was one of the most rewarding experiences of my life i brought along some dolphin pals to entertain their larger cousin while I scraped some of its itchy barnacles off with a sickle. From then on, I had a gigantic escort in the deep water. Some tribes managed to kit out their finny friend with a periscope, torpedo bays, and even a cargo hold. Those Shastasauruses end up looking like something from the old kids' cartoons with cavemen who've turned dinos into cars and submarines. Dude, just look at the crazy artwork image here as well. We literally have torpedoes, rocket launchers basically shooting off the sides of this thing. We have a full-on submarine, like, you know, mini base. Uh, like it says, a cargo hold that you can also have on top of here, which, yes, will be able to maintain some sort of oxygen level so you don't have to be in a full-on scuba diver suit to be inside of this thing. And just look at the sheer size alongside the dolphins, man. This is a massive, massive creature, and I cannot wait to get my hands on it and build a little base and just explore all of the water of this center map. Additionally, they state in the crunch, mark your calendars because on June 3rd, we're going to be releasing the center map and the Shastasaurus. This free expansion is like a whole new arc world. It's going to be double the size of the island map, and it's going to have that gorgeous token fan fantasy feel and tons of new surprises for you to uncover in the meantime you'll find us split up tackling everything to make arc survival ascended its best some of us are going to be squashing scorched earth bugs others are going to be diving into the world of our upcoming free aberration expansion but the main force is powering through to bring you the epicness of the center map on june 3rd we can't spoil all of the fun just yet but know that even more exciting developments are cooking for the june 3rd update your arc adventure are about to get a whole lot wilder. Ooh, that gets me very excited here. That last line that they put in that community crunch where it states, we can't spoil all the fun just yet, but just know that we have even more exciting developments 
you know, cooking up for the June 3rd update, and our, your ARC adventure is about to get a lot wilder. Now, the reason why this does excite me here is because it makes me think that it's going to be a surprise pack, not included in, like, the season pass or anything, but a surprise pack for players to purchase additionally, just like the Frontier Adventure Pack. And if the Frontier Adventure Pack has told us anything, it's going to be bringing a lot of new items for all of us to use and, you know, uncover on top of maybe some additional local motives that we could potentially see for the center map. And last but not least, maybe even another new creature that we can participate in if we purchase the pack. And to be 100% honest, I really do like and enjoy these mini packs that they're throwing in with all these DLCs. Man, I'm just, I really love it all. They're giving us a fresh take on a lot of items. They're giving us some new items that we don't have in the base version of the game. They're getting us a brand new creature like the Oasis or I mean, in general, they're putting a ton, a ton in these extra DLC packs. And they're relatively cheap, in my opinion, when you break it down for each individual pack instead of spending, you know, the full $30 for the season pass. You're not just getting Scorched Earth with that. You're getting two extra packs alongside it. And I'm not upset about it at all. I know they need some extra funding as time goes on. And not only that, the official DLC maps are, you know, getting a full remaster, which takes a lot of time. And every player who owns Ark Survival Ascended gets those maps for free. So the ability to buy extra doesn't really bother me. And I'm really excited to see what they cook up here for the center map. And last but not least, just to reiterate here, they did answer some really good uh, frequently asked questions that I still continue to see through the art community. And that is one, do I need to pay for Scorched Earth? No, the Scorched Earth map and DLC is 100% free for anybody who owns the base version of Ark Survival Ascended. The next one is, if I do not own Bob Tall Tales, can I play on Scorched Earth servers with my friends who do? And the answer is yes, you do not need to own Bob's Tall Tales in order for you to play on any server that has Bob Tall Tales content active. That's when it, that is this one is a big one that I see asked a ton and they have answered it directly here in the community crunch which is really nice. Next up they have do I need to do anything special to enable Bob's Tall Tales on my server and the answer is no. Once you purchase the Bob Tall Tales it was automatically baked into the core game therefore you can already access the items inside of your server. And last but not least we have what does Bob Tall Tales include and then now they state here which again is really nice they finally broke this down it includes it's an expansion pack for bob tall tales the expansion pack the expansion pass for bob tall tales includes three different expansions the frontier showdown for scorched earth which is the one we currently have the steampunk ascent for aberration and then the wasteland war for the extinction map so the 30 dollars is not just for one but for three different packs and this is honestly one of the big ones i've seen when it comes to confusion through the art community that the base version of 30 dollars is just for the scorched earth pack and that is not the case yes that's the only currently one available but it actually does have a pack for aberration and extinction and i've even seen some creators for whatever reason make a big stink about it being 30 dollars. but in my opinion you break it down to each individual it's only 10 dollars for the additional content that you're getting and i think it's 100 percent worth but that's going to be wrapping up our big news for you guys today on arc as always don't forget to like comment and subscribe here on the channel for everything arc survival ascended and also don't forget i do live stream three times a week monday wednesdays and fridays at roughly 8 p.m cst and I do have a community server for the island map and Scorched Earth that are clustered together. If you guys would like to join that as well, you can find that link down below in the description to the Discord. Pick up the ARC roll and you guys are ready to go. With that being said, as always, guys, I'll see you on the next one.